If you're on social media at all, then you've likely seen this new AI trend of generating a yearbook photo of yourself. But the problem is everyone's using an app that costs money. And you might be wondering, well, how can I do this in Stable Diffusion? And that's exactly what I'm gonna be showing you today. Now, before we hop into Stable Diffusion, we need to get a few prerequisites because we're using Roop and you need prereqs for that. So first, go ahead and download this Visual Studio community. I'll have this link down in the description below. Now, once that has downloaded, go ahead and open it. And then you're gonna be presented with a list of things that you can tick on or off. So you're going to want to select the Python development, the desktop development with C++, and then the Visual Studio extension development. And then just go ahead and hit install, and then you'll have to wait for that to load. And when that's done, you got one more thing to do. Go ahead and open up a command prompt terminal, and then type in this command. I'll have it linked down in the description below. And then go ahead and hit enter, and then it should just install. And then when it's done installing, you can go ahead and close out of the window. Now with those prerequisites installed, go ahead and open up Stable Diffusion and then head over to Extensions and then hit the Available tab and then just hit Load From. It should be auto filled with that query. And then in the search bar, go ahead and search for Root. There should only be one option, so just go ahead and install that one. Now, once it's done, go ahead and go back to the Installed tab and hit Check for Updates and then Apply and Restart UI. And then once that is all done, you should see that you have Root version 0.0.2 or, you you know, if you're watching this later, maybe it's an updated version. Now, theoretically, Roop works with any kind of image, and I will be showing you in a future video about how to use any kind of image and how to fully use this. But in case of this yearbook, we're going to use a yearbook Laura. And you could download that Laura by going to the link down in the description below and then clicking on this download button and then clicking on this model safe tensor. And once that's installed, just go ahead and drag it into your models stable diffusion folder. And then when you refresh your models, it should show up there and you can click it. Now I know, I know that was a lot of installing, but we're finally ready. So to use this, we're gonna twirl open a roop and then you need to put a reference image here. Now you can use any image, but I would recommend trying to find one where the face is relatively unobscured. So for the sake of this test, I'm gonna use Simon Cowell here and then I'll do a couple other tests as well. So you just drag that image here and then make sure you click enable because that's going to turn this on. And other than that, you can pretty much leave these settings alone. Like I said, I'll have another video talking about these settings in detail, but for now that should be fine. And then just go ahead and put in your settings of choice. Now this next part is really important. Make sure you copy and paste this into your prompt. This is essentially telling this to reference the Laura here. Now, since we selected this as the model, I'm not sure how important this actually is to getting the image that you want, but just to be safe, it doesn't hurt to keep this one in here. I'm not the master of Laura, so I don't exactly know the proper protocol for this stuff, but I just know including this makes it work really nicely. And then from there, just go ahead and fill in your other prompts because what Roop does is it really only takes the face. So anything else you're going to need to fill in here. And it does need a little bit of help sometimes. So the more detail you give it, the better the outcome usually is. And with that, let's go ahead and try this out. And there we go. This is the image that we got. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. Sure, the face isn't exactly, you know, perfect, but I think that's sort of the point, right? It's supposed to be a yearbook photo. The faces are supposed to look a little younger. And I think you could draw the connection that, yeah, Simon Cowell could have looked like this when he was younger. Now, like I said, the other thing to keep in mind here is the hair color and hairstyle does not match exactly the reference image because it's really just generating an image um, without the face and then sort of pasting the face on after the fact. So this is just what it generated based off of this prompt up here, not this. So it looks like he has more of like brown hair. So if we wanted to indicate that, we should really be putting brown hair on here or black hair, I'm sorry. And then if we generate that again, we should see it with black hair this time. And there we go. This time it generated with black hair and the face you know, looks like a younger version of him. And like I said, if you want to customize what he's wearing, the background color, the hairstyle, you have to emphasize that here. But even with this generic, you know, description, it looks pretty good. And it's kind of interesting to see, you know, what these celebrities would look like with, you know, like a bowl cut, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of funny. Now let's try a funny use case, which is Albert Einstein. Now I'm going to take out the black hair and maybe let's try white hair. I know that's probably not, you know, the hair color he had when he was younger, but that's how everyone knows Albert Einstein as. Uh, so we're just going to keep it and run with it. <laughs> and there we go. We got <laughs> a generated image of 
Albert Einstein's yearbook photo. Now, obviously there are some things wrong here, right? This is a black and white photo and Albert Einstein in this photo is really old. So the face, it looks younger, but it still looks like he's like 40 or 50 or 60, you know? So if you're wanting to get a realistic image for the yearbook, make sure you use a younger image versus an older image. <laughs> or else you're gonna get this. But overall, I feel like the face fit on really nicely and the hair, I, I like the hair. I mean, I think it would fit Albert, um, you know, if he was, <laughs> you know, in high school. I tried it this time with crazy hair and it definitely matches like his aesthetic a little bit better. Um, so I think this image looks pretty cool. I don't know how many images there are of a young Albert Einstein, if any, uh, but yeah, I think this is pretty funny. Just it, it goes to show you the power that you have because this is a black and white photo, relatively like low resolution. It outputs in pretty good detail despite, you know, the low quality image. And finally, let's go ahead and take a look at Taylor Swift. I just edited the prompt very slightly and let's go ahead and generate. And there we go. This one generated really well. I think the face matches really well. It even gets the, the correct like eyeliner and stuff like that. So this is a really good looking image, you know, for like a Taylor Swift, like, you know, senior photo kind of thing. Like it looks really accurate. And then here's another one. I don't think this one is as good, but it's still pretty good with like matching the face to the head. I think the body generated a little weird on this one, but it's really good at placing the face correctly on the image. So, you know, I think this tool has a lot of power and um, like I said, I will be doing a more in-depth video on how to use this more effectively uh, to customize your output. But this was just a quick little tutorial on how to do the trendy trend of the yearbook. Now, I am curious, are you going to be using this to make yourself a new yearbook photo? Or do you plan to turn celebrities back in time to their yearbook photo days? Let us know down in the comments below. And to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.